pop up to the inside of the card and I did it with the welly in the middle but on second to find whether anybody else had done a, a water splash pop up but they haven't um, and uh, I thought perhaps it might be better anyway to have it so that the when the card opens flat it would open up in the middle like that so I thought I could adapt a flower I came across this this is the the template for fixing on in the middle that would fold like that and there is the details where I got it from if that doesn't show up properly I'll, I'll put it on the video again in a minute but I'm grateful to that Russian lady for designing this and um, I'll also put up the details of the English um, website where I found it but um, this is the printout of the lotus flower which she's designed there are two stamen pieces which slot together like that and the outer flower and the inner flower and that's glued around so that it pulls around and it goes up like that and the same with that bit and then those little tabs there will fit into those slots on the other piece but um, obviously I don't want a flower I want a water splash so what I've done I've traced over the top of that Um, and I shan't know until, I don't know if you can see that, there, I shan't know until I cut it out and try whether this is actually going to work. So the next step is to get this drawing that I've done um, onto the computer, I shall scan that on uh, and uh, make a cut file and then uh, we'll see whether we can cut it and make it up in a mock-up. So I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so I've done the um, that milk up now. This is just a piece of scrap card. And I cut that from the flower pattern, but made watery bits instead, and. That's the willy that goes in the middle. It'll slot through one of those holes. And what I've done since then, on the computer I've designed this. Um, this is what I've done. It will fold in the middle and that's where the pop-up is going to be. I haven't got enough card and enough big pieces of card um, to fill the whole of the inside so this is going to have to be cut down A4 and what I'm actually doing at the moment is taking the mock up and cutting the circles that I've printed on the computer and using them as a mask um, to make some ripple effects around the um, pop-up um, I'm trying to make it so that the light is coming from which side? This side, that's right. So it's going to be opposite each side, if you follow me. So I shall carry on. I want to cut the next circle off now. go very gently there and it's lovely with these brushes because you can build up gradually
Right, on this side I'm going to put on like that and mask along here. And I may put some um, stickles and a bit of white acrylic paint again, we'll see how it goes. Right, this last bit's a bit complicated because it's all a bit close together, so I've had to cut that like that and to put that behind, that in front there. Then I should be able to mask everything I want and just do this bit. side now. Right, for this last bit I'm going to use a stippling brush because it's a bit smaller. It's a very narrow bit this. Right, now I'll just go over that again with this. Soften it a bit. I want the middle to be dark, so I'm going to get the that's faded jeans that one that uh, distressing. I'm going to use the chip sapphire just for the middle. Mm. 